Hey everyone, Angelo here. Welcome to part two of my tutorial on catalog design, working in Adobe InDesign. As you can see on my screen here, I have designed a inside page spread, two page spread I should say. Um, that's what we're gonna focus on today, using main art as uh, the main image on your, on your layouts, and then uh, complementing it with some good typography, simple typefaces, and then I'm gonna show you how to use the tab features in InDesign to make uh, your listings for your products that much cleaner. So as you can see here, this is uh, inside of the same uh, eight and a half by eight and a half document that I was working on last week. So I will link that to this, this tutorial just so you can get the two part uh, series and catch up and maybe even do the uh, design yourself. So let's get into it. So as you can see, there's my uh, front cover that I designed last week. And we're gonna be focusing on these two inside pages here. As you can see, I've set up my guides. I showed you how to do that in a previous tutorial. And I'm just gonna move this guy out. And this one as well. Good, so I have my guide set up here. And one thing I didn't uh, mention or explain in my last tutorial is working in layers. So I usually tend to, to at least start with three different layers uh, type. So any typography, your main image, and then the background of your uh, project. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna create a background. So I'm gonna click the background, make sure you're working on that layer. Grab your rectangle frame tool, and then just draw a box that extends both pages in length. And then I'm just going to make that uh, just paper white, okay? And make sure that you're working on the um, fill and not the stroke, otherwise it won't it won't work. So now that I'm I've got that set up, I'm going to go to layers and then just lock that layer so I can't move that anymore. Now I'm going to bring in the main image, and I have that. Let's do the same process here. So click on your main image layer click on your rectangle frame tool, and then I wanna leave three columns here for uh, the type. So I'm basically gonna extend this, start over here, and then go all the way across on the second, the right-hand page. And let's bring in that image. So I'm gonna click here, Control D or Command D. And let's go get that. It's in my catalog here. There it is right there. Now I haven't edited that in Photoshop. That's just straight from Adobe Stock. You can do your edits before putting your image in. Okay, so there's my image. And I'm going to just bump it down in size here. Click it and it's Command Option uh, Less Than. Okay, and then if you wanna do greater than. Also, Shift Control Command C will um, center that or fit the proportions of your box, okay? So I'm just gonna move it to the right so I can get the lamp in. Okay, so that's good there. Take my guides off, yep, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go up to view um, display performance, high quality display so we get a nice crisp image there. Now that I have my image in, I'm gonna lock that as well, so I can't move that while, while I'm working, okay? So let's go ahead and I have some content down here. Um, let's just move this to the side. These are the pieces of content that I'm going to insert in my layout here, put my guides back on. Uh, if you wanna turn your guides on and off quickly, just hit W on your keyboard and that will trigger them on and off. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is let's go ahead and um, create a, a headline here or a uh, kind of a title. And I think in my example, I just had the words modern living with a period. Let's do lowercase there. Let's go ahead and make this uh, Gotham because that was the theme in the, the cover. So Gotham black. 
Come on, Gotham. There it is. And let's bump this up to about 40, 44, see how that looks. Okay, let's just extend this box a bit. And then I'm going to decrease the lighting to bring living up a bit. And I want it sitting on this, this guide here, so that's good. Modern living, perfect. Next thing I want to do is um, bring in this piece of content here, which explains just a little description of what this is all about, the this layout. So I'll get to that once I put this in. So I'm going to select this and we're going to make this uh, butler. Let's go butler medium. And let's bump this up to 16. Because it should have some, it should stand out over the uh, listings that I'm about to show you. Okay, that's pretty good there. Let's see how that looks. So there's a good hierarchy already in terms of that, that um, headline with the description. So whether you're spending a night relaxing with the family or entertaining with your friends, this new spring collection will bring your living room to life. Now I want to bring in um, let's let's actually before we bring in the listings I'm going to bring in these here and I'm going to show you how to strategically place these in the areas so these are just numbers that I've created in a in a uh, box so let's just say number one that's the Rexdale floor lamp so just to give you an example okay so I have to make this a little bit smaller we need to get that lamp or I have to move it to the right quite a bit there's the lamp okay so that's the setting that I like it at and there's my number one here let's lock that main image again zoom in on one grab it and let's bring it somewhere around the lamp where it'll stand out so something like this and try to use your guides and grids here Perfect, so that I know relates to that lamp, okay? And we're gonna finish that off in a second, but I wanna bring the listings in now, just so we can see what, what goes where. Let's sit that right there. Now before we go any further, you'll notice that I put my listing in, so number one, and then I've tabbed, I put, if I just do that and hit tab, I put tab, uh, tabs in between the number and the name of the item, okay? The reason I'm gonna, do, I'm doing that is because if I go control A, first thing, let's make this Gotham light. Okay. And now, what I wanna do is I'm gonna also do control A again. I'm gonna go up here to type and tabs and it brings up this little dialog box okay and you have a series of um, alignment arrows here right now I have it as justified uh, left so that that's the one I want to use but if you want to tab it in a different alignment format just select any one of these okay let's go ahead and click that and I'm gonna see this gray bar here right over my ruler I'm just gonna click anywhere in there and that creates a left justified tab for me now if I move this left you notice how my my copy uh, moves to the left as well just where the tabs are and so that's good because you want to get basically the name of the, the product and the price on one line and let's do that perfect I think we're good all the way around maybe a little bit more and when you're working in this format, make sure that the ruler is just above the area that you're, you're formatting in the tab feature. Good. And you can always go back and edit that by doing um, Shift Command T or going up to Type and Tabs. And I want there to be dots from the one leading up to my uh, product. So let's go ahead and put just a single dot in that leader 
which I explain in the blog that I'm uh, also going to release in this tutorial. And then just hit uh, tab or whatever, and then you can see that your, your um, lead up dots there uh, lead up to the product. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out of that, just close it. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one of the first uh, product and I'm just going to uh, bold it. So if a flat family has a bold feature, you could just highlight it and go shift command or shift control B. And then that's a quick way of doing this. You can also go up to here and then just say bold. But I'm all about shortcuts. And then finally, let's get the last one. Now this text is a little too big for me, right? You don't want it that big that it would compete with your description of your uh, layout. So I'm just going to highlight this and let's make it 10 point. That feels better to me. It's not as com competitive with this. So you want a, you want a nice flow and a nice uh, hierarchy with that. Um, next thing I want to do is just create a, a subtle line here. Before I do that, I'm going to grab my own rule here and snap it to um, anywhere that's close to the right edge of this text because that's where I want the line to end. I want to make sure that it's uh, um, close to, to ending or flush with that. Okay, So I'm going to click my line tool, remember hold shift and then click and drag. That will make sure that it's straight when you're drawing it. Now it comes in at zero on the stroke weight. Click the stroke and then just give it a stroke of uh, maybe two for now. I'm gonna go to swatches and right now that's white so we want black and the fill obviously we want none, okay? And here I wanna change this again to dotted, okay? Let's see how that looks. It just creates a nice little separation between your main headline with the description and then the listing of your products, okay? Now, remember I spoke about working in your smart guides? So obviously this right now is not equally centered between the listings and then your description. So I'm just gonna click this and move it down. And you notice on the right hand side now, it's showing me that there's equal space between uh, the two items. So I'm gonna let go. How's that look? Yep, looks pretty good there. Okay, so that's, that's how you would do that tab feature. Obviously, you just don't want to throw a bunch of text in there. Um, when you're doing catalog design, you want to keep it as clean and concise as possible so the consumer can easily find what they're looking for. I'm just going to fix this photo here because I got some white space at the bottom. Move that down. Perfect. Good. Okay, I'm going to lock that again. Perfect. Now, one is the Roxdale floor lamp, so there's that. I'm gonna grab my number two here. Just cut it for now and let's paste it. Two is the couch or the sofa, so let's control V and let's put our guides on. Now this is something important to note that don't put your numbers um, or any on any type or content uh, that would sit in the spine like that because when it prints it'll get lost in that spine and you won't be able to see it. So let's move it down here again, maybe to the margin and then one of the guides. Let's see how that looks. Perfect. It's relatable. Number two, two, and then consumer can look over here very quickly. Let's grab number three. Number three is the shelving unit. Okay, so that's this back here. Again, put your guides on. Just don't do things uh, with, you know, like, take the guesswork out of it. Okay, let's try it there. I'm not, I'm not liking that, it's too close to the actual shelf. So let's try up here, maybe add some separation. I like that. You can tell right away what, what it's connected to. Okay, and then number four is the ottoman over here. So let's do that. Put your guides on maybe on that floor. 
something like maybe here. Yep, you can still see it. Maybe move it down a bit. Or something like that. No, nope, it's lost. So you're gonna have to try a few things. Obviously, let's keep it over here because it's lighter. I can live with that. Okay, so you get the idea there when you're designing a catalog. It's all about keeping things simple, but also having a structure to it. So when you're publishing this or printing it, uh, consumers can easily correlate um, the number to the listing and there's no confusion, okay? So that's very important. One other thing I wanted to touch on is um, having, speaking of structure, um, is having a plan in place even before you start, okay? So here are a few um, just sketches that I do for layouts. Uh, this is the one I ended up going with for a two-page spread. But if you're doing single pages, um, the try different spreads and layouts there and see what works best for you. So the, the big box with the X through it, that would be your, your art, your, your image. Um, play up uh, maybe a few smaller images on a, on a page if it works. And then work your typography and your, your subjects in terms of uh, headlines and descriptions work that around uh, your your main image. So always try to start with a main image and then work around it. But this is a great way of um, starting, is having some kind of structure on paper to go off of, okay? I think that's it for today. So um, again, this was part two of catalog design. Uh, look for a few more coming in the next week or so as I move on to other print and editorial um, layouts. And uh, yeah, that's it. Any questions, shoot me a message on any social media, follow me, and uh, that's it. Have a great day. Take care.